morning everyone and welcome to Mosaic Kids Online. The sun has been shining, it is feeling glorious and I hope that you've all been busy enjoying these spring days with your family. We are missing you all and it's not long till we will actually be able to see many of you. We are so, so excited. Today we're going to begin with this new favourite song of mine, My Testimony. Guys, God is writing my story and he is writing your story. We have freedom because he paid for it. Let's declare with open arms now how amazing he is.
we all do bad things sometimes, don't we? Maybe you took a biscuit from the cupboard when you were told no. Maybe you said or did some unkind things to a family member or one of your friends. And when we do bad things, this is called sin. When we sin, do bad things, we need to ask God for his forgiveness. The good news is, when we ask for forgiveness, God always washes away the bad things that we do and makes us right again. Even though when we do wrong, it does make him sad. He still wants to forgive us. He's just really awesome like that. He's such a good friend. You know, sometimes our friends do things to us that are unkind and make us sad too. And we should learn to forgive them just as God forgives us. Forgiving someone means that you are no longer angry with them. But when someone has done something that has really upset you or made you angry, it can be really hard to choose to forgive them. The hardest thing to do can be to forgive someone who keeps on doing the same unkind, hurtful thing. You forgave them the first time, but surely not the fifth or sixth or tenth time. Well, actually, yes, Jesus taught us that we should keep on forgiving. He actually said not just seven times, but 77 times. Wow, that is a lot of times. We keep on forgiving people even when they keep upsetting us. But the beautiful thing about forgiveness is, although it's something that we give to others, it's actually a gift we get to give to ourselves too. You see, when we choose to forgive someone else, you become happier. It gives us something called peace. Peace means we are free from anger. So when you forgive others, you are free from anger and therefore happier. The Bible book Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 says, be kind and compassionate towards one another, forgiving each other just as Christ God forgives us. Wow, isn't forgiveness amazing? It's not easy, but it is amazing. God forgives us and as we follow his lead in forgiving others, we become happier. Who can you choose to forgive today? Maybe it's a friend at school who's upset you or a brother or a sister who hasn't been kind or fair towards you. Choose forgiveness. Keep choosing forgiveness. Did you know that I love Lizard? Hopefully I'm getting a leopard gecko. That's cool, Rick. Coming up in next week's news, we play another challenge of the odd one owl. We play a fun game and of course, we see who's lowest joke of the week. But first, here is beautiful Bonnie with the weather. My name also loves sunshine.
a new game to check out. Okay, ready boys? Right, today we are going to play a target game. So hanging on our washing line, we've got some numbers. We've got 100, which is really small. 20, 10, 5, 3 and 1. The boys have got five bullets each and they will get the amount of points that they hit. Are you ready boys? Are we starting with, who are we starting with? Chat Me. Judah. Right, Judah into position. Aim and fire. is a miss. Keep going. Next one. Aim and fire. They are, I know. It makes it even more tricky. Which one are you aiming for? Ten. That's going to be a really hard one to aim for. He's waving all around. Oh! No, you don't have to get the bullets. Go again. Go again. Reload and shoot. Ready? Right. Go on then, he's going for three. Yeah. Yeah, three, three points. points. Keep going then, Jude, on to the next one. You've got two bullets left to use. You ready? Okay. No! <laughs> right, last bullet, make it count. You've got to make this count. And on his practice, he did really well. Go on then. Yes! Right, eight points to Judo, Charlie. Aim and shoot. You need bullets in to be able to shoot. Are you ready? Okay, go again. Five! Oh. No, is that a miss? No, that was a miss. You've got three bullets left. Miss! Is it one last one? Is that right? Okay, make it count. You've got to beat, you've got to get at least three. Oh! <laughs> Judah, well done, you got eight points. You're going to have to work on this, you're going to have to practice to get a high score. I've got ten. Come on, Charlie, I want to go. Let's see how on this one then. Come on, Chip. I want to aim with someone there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, you in? Watch out for this. So you've got to be, you've got to be eight, you've beat eight <laughs> to, uh, <laughs> the pressure. <laughs> right, you've only got five bullets. Is that right? Right then, go on then. No, nope, miss. Gonna have to go again. Mm, no, I, don't th I think that was a miss. Ooh. Go boys. Oh my god, I'm not kidding. How happy he is. <laughs> Just call me Topkin. <laughs> but you didn't beat Daddy. But when the camera stopped, I got 120. True. Finally, here is Seth with a joke of the week. Why do the bees have sticky hair? Well, I don't know. Why do the bees have sticky hair, Seth? Because they have honeycombs. <laughs> Nice one, honey goes. Thanks, Beth. Well, that's it for this week's news. So it's goodbye from Bruce. And goodbye from Rick. Mm, tastes nice. <laughs> <laughs>you joined us today we are looking forward to gathering with you all soon but for now we will be here again next week at the same time have an awesome week and we will see you then